I feel like one of us is gonna get hurt today. Good morning and welcome back to our debt-free off-grid homestead that we're building here in North Idaho. We started off living in tents right over here and then we built phase one which is this part right here. Phase two includes this apartment and the garage down below. Phase three we tied both of them together. Currently we're working on the inside of this apartment. It is icy out here man. Be careful. Safety Sally's scared. We're working on trying to get the sheetrock finished inside of this apartment. Yesterday we came just a little bit short of our goal. We were able to complete the drywall in bedroom number one. Yesterday was really a to be continued video. And so today is the continuation and we're gonna work on the sheetrock in bedroom number two. So when we say that we completed the sheetrock in this bedroom, what we really mean is we completed the sheetrock in the ceiling of the bedroom. We still have all of the walls of course to go, but we're working on getting the ceilings all done so that way when we run the heat we're not losing it up through the attic we don't want to do that so right now we're going to start in this room here this one is a yeah. little bit more complicated this is where the trap door goes to get up into the attic for the furnace so this will be interesting it's a lot warmer up here so nice having some hot air so we reminded ourselves again to mark our studs let's go ahead and measure make sure where eight feet's gonna land okay you're gonna probably have to take it in pieces but these things like they like fold up Whew. we could have broke the window we'll take this part first this place is a serious trip hazard <laughs> You know why? Because we need all of these lights to make good videos for you. Because we're not building a house, we're making videos about building a house. <laughs> yeah, we could work in the dark if we didn't need to film it, huh? Yeah, like one light <laughs> would be fine. So yeah, one thing that we need to always remember is that we're not building a house, we're making videos about building a house. That's our job. It's all supposed right. to be somewhat entertaining too. That's right. We gotta do entertaining things, otherwise nobody wants to watch. So basically we're moving everything from bedroom one into bedroom two. We've got the hoist, ladders. We're ready, huh? We're ready. We got our first piece cut right here. Remember when we cut down that tree and it fell on the shelter logic? Oh, I remember. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, right? Like we could have done it a bunch of different ways that would have definitely been way safer for the shelter logic but that element of suspense of risk and all of that right it's good for the video i feel like one of us is gonna get hurt today i know <laughs> i've like tri almost tripped a whole bunch of times tripping over the lights or the cords or all of these legs i got a challenge for you guys today besides the push-up challenge yeah the challenge is is for every time you see us do something unsafe in the video you write it in the comments every time so probably going to be like 35 comments from everybody you guys down with that i think it'll be fun i think we love this hoist but it also is pretty awkward to use sometimes all right crank her up there jules all right let's change the tone of this video tone dude no sarcasm okay no more sarcasm you are mr sarcastic today <sighs> I know, man. I think it's because it's getting hot in here. Come on, buddy. I'm having hot flashes. We might be working too hard. We might need a little coffee break or something. Dude. <laughs> what we do are... they say about, is it Tommy or Johnny or <laughs> all work and no play? play? Make somebody a dull Tommy? boy. Tommy? A dull boy? You're the one that was talking about, aren't we going to get to work today? Okay, well, tell me. We have to give ourselves these little pep talks. <laughs> We're ready to be nice now. You ready oh, to be nice? Everything's rosy, rosy, dozy. I guess we're good, huh? No, I think it looks great. It's nice. hitting over here really good. I think we're ready to Screw grab it, our huh? screws. Yep. What about this cord? Oh, man. No, that's fine. I know. Are you goofball? Let's grab our screw guns and our screws. We only have two bazillion screws left. We've already used one bazillion. One of mine here. How about right there? First piece is up in the ceiling in bedroom number two. We don't have the right pieces up here, so we gotta go down and get some more sheetrock. Right, we got lots of scrap, but not the right ones. Hey, let's huh. go out and see the snow. It just started snowing again. Be careful, it's super icy. Out there. Is it? Oh, it's a bit. We can go <laughs> ice skating. <laughs> snow, snow. It's gotta accumulate and cover up our mess over there. For sure. 
Come on! Oh yeah, huh. not fitting properly. I'm the one that cut it. No, I measured it, I mean. Hanging drywall is definitely an upper body workout. Shoulders, huh? Whose idea was it to do a push-up challenge at the same time as hanging drywall? Well, I'm pretty sure if we go back to <laughs> December 1st, it was your idea. <laughs> It's a good challenge though, man. People are really enjoying it. I love seeing people all over the world participating. Yeah, it's crazy. There's people it's, all over the world. It's so fun. Young, old, male, female, everybody. So now are we gonna cut out this part of the trap door? Yeah, I think it'd be easier to just cut it out each piece we put up there. Do you want the razor or the saw? The roto zip, let's try it. Oh yeah, Again. that was my third option. A lot of you guys have been asking, how are you gonna service that furnace for maintenance? Well. Right here's the trap door, man. We just had it filled with insulation to help with the heating for right now. But if you look right up there, there's the furnace. We're gonna cut this piece out here because that'll be part of the trap door. And then there's plenty of room to get up there and work on it if you need to. Maintenance wise, the filter is down here in the apartment. It's not up at the unit like a lot of them. That'll be easy just to replace, no problem at all. Besides that, I mean, what other maintenance does it really need? Hopefully not a lot. Hopefully none. <laughs> for 25 years and it really feels good yeah. like the i don't know what it is it's probably what like 50. it feels so much nicer yeah so excited about heat light down how many times did we kick that light over today a million super durable lights step on them all the time <coughs> an accident of course put your hand in my hand darling say go keep your eyes on the horizon stay gold all i need are your eyes your mind it's too big of a space. The wood's at an angle so that the bit's going too far. That's why it's all messed up up there. Cause I'm not good at this thing yet. All right. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, but look at that messy mess. That's right. We've got mud. That's right. <laughs> And a nice piece of trim that's going to go here anyway around us. It's a good start. We got a first row done. We might need a celebratory break after we finish the second row. We're going to need to put some screws in here. And I know. Look at this, dudes. Lamo. Shouldn't have been this little piece right here, but I didn't think about it before. So now there is. I mean, that roto zip it does a clean job, you know? Mm-hmm. Except for right here where it's blown out from that screw. We don't have much more opportunity to use our lipstick trick. That's so sad because everybody loves that trick so much. <laughs> it is the number one pro tip, dude, that we've got for you guys. I actually think it's super helpful. No, it is. It is helpful. Messy, man. but helpful. Yeah. Somehow we forgot that there's a light right here. <laughs> Gonna try the roto zip on it. We remembered the outlet though. We're gonna try it again and see if we can't do it better. Gonna try to go into the middle of the outlet, out to the side, out of it, and then around it. Maybe use your knife. It's a little too long. No, I wanna, I wanna try it, man. I wanna get this thing mastered, but I don't wanna make a whole bunch of ugly mistakes either. Lower the bit a little bit because I think it's too high. So I just cut out the inside of the box here. Now we're gonna try to just come outside of it and cut out the outside of it so that the sheet rock will go up over it. We did it. Got a little wonky right here, but we did it. Hey, look at that. We got our trap door back. Yeah, man. Fortunately, it's peeling away. Uh-oh. You want me to get it from the back side? Please. Two rows finally done here. What time is it now, Jos? What time is it? Like literally? No. It's one, what do you mean? But it's time for our celebratory break. Oh yes, that's right. And you guys should come along with us. So stop number one on our celebratory break yep. is the local refuse disposal center. That's what everybody does on their celebratory breaks. That's right. I think so. Right, Seth? Right. I'm going to drive around here real quick. Jules is going to show you around. So, oh, right. There's the, the mall right there. You can donate stuff right there. You can look through it and pick stuff out. Sometimes there's some pretty cool stuff over there. These are the dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Cardboard and stuff like that go in those ones. Refrigerators. This is pretty fun. All the metal goes right there and they're compacting it into those little, oh, where are they? Right, right there. there. Cubes. Little tiny cubes. Wow, Whoa. the pile of wood is gone. I'm like looking for the pile of wood, but that it's, must be it. it they must, must be it right there. there. Wow. Oh, there it is. They're starting a new pile. This is a pile of like scrap wood and stuff. But usually that pile is really big. And then you got tires over there. For Sarah's uh, graduation party, we came and got one of those tires to make a tetherball out of for free. You can just get as many tires as you want. Wow, that's fancy. I don't know. 
No, but they keep it really clean here. It's very organized. All right, we're off to stop number two. It's a secret destination. When I see change is blowing in And the fire cry home again When the rush Stop number two. Oh man, Wendy's. Yeah, we got a brand new Wendy's here in Sandpoint. Seth, you haven't eaten here yet, have you? Have once. You did? Yeah. Was I with you? Yes. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot. And look at you, man. You're in shorts. It's 34 degrees outside. I don't feel too bad. No. Crazy. Nah. Like magic, man. We just warped right over here. It's so fast. Like, pew, we're here. North 40, buddy. Jules. Yes. What do you think about North 40? Is it oh. your favorite store in the whole world? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but they do have some cool stuff. So we're looking for deer blocks and then also some stuff for our chickens. Now the celebration is beginning. Oh, now this is the, oh, what about the burger, man? Well, I had a salad, so it's not much of a celebration. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I'm gonna stay here, you guys go shop. <laughs> All right, deer blocks right here. Monster deer block. And here's Joseph's chicken blocks right here. Oh, they got this one or this one. Is that what we need? Yeah, that's what mom wants. Okay, so that's what they're called. Scratch block. Well, they got this one too. This is a flock block. So do we want Purina or Country Champion? They're almost the same price. 25 pounds. Oh, versus 21. Oh. Let's go to 25. Yeah. All right. Stuff for the chickens. Yeah. Ooh, it's cold out there. Ooh. Stop number three. What? Home Depot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wesley. How's it going? Yep. Yeah? That's our buddy Wesley. Oh, we got stuff to get in here. <laughs> Keys made first. I'm gonna go try to find this employee. Okay, can't just make them yourself here. But they do have some pretty cool machines. All right, so we've got tape and tape and sponges and sandpaper and, oh, the stuff for the seams. Looks like a lot of work coming our way. That's right. <laughs> Made it back home and it is pitch black out here, ma'am. It's not even all that late. It's probably like five o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and start the generator. Just make sure we've got enough power for all night and tomorrow morning. All right, we got her going. And uh, it should automatically shut off here in oh, a couple hours when it gets fully charged because of my little hack. If you missed that video, it's pretty cool. I don't remember which one it's in, but the little generator hack to make it automatically shut off. <sighs> There we go. We've got light, man. It's like about 36. We go ahead and turn on the furnace. Jules is out taking care of the chickens right now. And so we will get cracking on this thing here in just a minute. Whoa, it's blinding me. Whoa, I can't see. <laughs> I'm run into a tree. I'm going to tuck the babies in. I need to close their door because I haven't programmed it. There we go. Shutting them in for the night might be wondering why i don't just program it that's a good question i don't know i just haven't yet i think it's just because i like coming out and saying good night to them good night everybody everybody's in and cuddled up see you in the morning they're all tucked in say good night come on <laughs> wow where's he going oh he's cold cr access hole for the furnace up there. We're gonna go ahead and put our insulation back up there. There's our little thermal plug, I like to call it, because I just made it up right now. I like it. Later there'll be uh, a door. We thought we were done with insulation. I was grossly mistaken. So I don't know if Marty told you already, but we're determined to finish the ceiling in Today. bedroom number two. Today. And it's pretty much dinner time, but we're re-energized, right? Yeah, totally did. <laughs> we're re-energized and ready. We had we had a little break. Yeah, dude. We had a nice delicious three patty burger. Well, I had salad. Oh yeah. So we got first a piece of blocking. Yeah, we're gonna measure the for hole the, up here for it. For the closet. So basically we just gotta do exactly like we did on bedroom number one. You know what you cannot forget to do? Tell me. <laughs> Finish this header. Oh yeah, foam it. Foam it, yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> a little fly graveyard in a windowsill. Sorry, distracted by the flies. That's all right. What you got? I don't know. It's being troublesome. Let's go 22 and 22 and 5 sixteenths. Yep, that'll fit, dude. Nice. Oh, by the way, this is not mold. Like some people had mentioned that, I don't know what it is, just paint or something from, maybe, cause there's, you know, there's black. 
Yeah, right this here. is like, this is actually a vapor barrier. Because there's a tar, like some kind of tar sealant on the back side of it. And so sometimes you get this or you get like that from, the, from the manufacturer. I would actually be having a cow if it was mold. <laughs> would not be going in this house. But thanks for paying such close attention to what we're doing. Keeping track of what's going on here. It's awesome. Looking out for us. You love me. Here's our first piece written down. Just going right there. On the last one, Jules, it gave us a bit of trouble, didn't it? Yeah. I'm hoping that tonight we don't have to refit and refit and refit. Yeah, we want smoothness, especially Smooth. because look how dark it is out there. We want a break. I'm gonna film you from out here. Bye. The light in your eyes comes over me just like a sunrise. You said a scene turn in my gray skies blue Just like you always We were gonna try to wiggle it, make it work We gotta go down and get a whole new piece, two pieces Okay, we'll be right back with, a, with two sheets of ultra light That they lied about I don't want anyone else Cause I know there's not anyone else That makes me feel the Please fit, please fit. <laughs> Fits, dude. Hooray for piece number one. Our next is a funny little L piece right here. Is it an L? It looks kind of like a Tetris piece. This is just in a little, and then these connect. Yeah? So yeah. it is an L. It's not Tetrisy at all. Well, there's a Tetris L. <laughs> I love Tetris. So our longest piece is what, 49? Huh? 56 and three quarters. Right there, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I've seen better. <laughs> Shit pencil, I stole it. I'm gonna make shift table, <laughs> help trash can. <laughs> this is why we measure twice. Just a quarter inch off, but it could really make a difference, huh? It could make it a lot harder to fit up there. Final piece of the evening. <laughs> Gotta measure it. And we have a air vent to hassle with. So that we don't have to go down and get another sheet and waste it. Not really waste it, but cut it. We're gonna go ahead and just put two pieces in there. Hopefully they'll turn out all right. More seams, more mud, more sanding. Hooray! We're right. gonna be experts by the time we finish. I think it goes this way. That looks good. Can you fix my mistake? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. With all happiness, huh? Yeah. Marty. <laughs> and all joy. My bedroom. All joy. Oh, all joy to fix my wife's mistakes. <laughs> okay, lipstick away, babe. Alrighty. Okay. Let's um, actually to go double check that because I'm not really sure if I meant 17 and a quarter or 17 and three quarters. Okay, 17 and a quarter. Okay, and then 17. Perfect. No more wife mistakes tonight. Man. <laughs> no more mans either. Yeah, that's my thing. They don't like it. Some people don't, other people love it. Most people don't like it. Dude. It's just a substitute for man. This should be the last cut of the night. We still haven't done our push-ups or the question, have we? No. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Coming up, guys. Don't you fear. Let's retire those things for the night. Bye. See you tomorrow. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I forgot we could have cut that vent, the furnace vent open. I just forgot. I got too ambitious. I got this feeling of fire inside. Watch me reach up, pull the sun from the sky. I'm all done waiting for life to arrive. I'm gonna make, make today my <laughs> Perfect, right in the trash can. You planned that, didn't you? That's the way we do things around here. I think we're gonna run out of these things. <laughs> Stuart Rinker asked a good question today. He wants to know if we could add a switch 
to our thermostat so that we don't have that phantom load on our furnace. And yeah, you absolutely could add a switch in there, but the furnace is actually on its own circuit. So what we could easily do is just flip off the breaker, you know, in the springtime and then in the fall, turn the breaker back on because the furnace would be being run. Or if nobody's just staying up there for a few weeks or something, we could just simply turn it off at the breaker. But putting a switch in there is a really good idea and I hadn't thought of that. So thank you so much for the question, which is kind of like a suggestion. If you have an important question that you would like to have answered, put it down in the comments below because we're answering one of your very important questions every day in December. How many are we doing today? 16. 16. We're doing 16 today? 16. We're more than halfway. Okay. We are more than halfway, guys. Can you believe it? We are more than halfway through the month of December. You guys are awesome. Yeah. If you're following along, let's get down on the floor, lean against the wall, the counter, get on your knees, whatever it is you got to do to follow along. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> Ooh, we did it. Did you do it? Let us know down in the comments below if you did it. If you've joined the push-up challenge, good job to you. We'd love for you to send us a short video clip of you saying something like, Hi, Johnson family. This is Paula Wells, and I have accepted your push-up challenge. Send the video clip to our business email address, which is in our about page, and we'll try to get it into a video. All right, that's gonna do it for today, but we did pick out this video right here for you to go ahead and watch next. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. And keep keep smiling. smiling.